So these are the given data. Observe data uh, H and the, the, the respective discharge at that particular point. So we have uh, two different methods to, to uh, develop rating curves. One is a trial and error approach, uh, uh, which is a least squared approach, and the other is a graphical approach. And uh, anyways, the general equation is given as uh, C uh, H uh, plus A raised to N, where um, C A and uh, N are variables, are constants that are uh, that we can. Um, uh, we can randomly assume and iterate them and find uh, the optimal ones. So um, these are C, A and N, so you randomly assume them with a certain values. Okay. And then depending on these randomly assumed values, we will calculate discharge, which is Q estimated. And um, in a meter cube uh, per second. So from this, uh, we use uh, this equation itself like this discharge is equal to um, C uh, times um, H uh, plus A and uh, raised to 2 uh, raised to sorry raised to N and uh, um, our C A N values are a constant throughout the data so if you want to keep the value constant uh, you, you have to you have to do something in the Excel. So, um, for example, if you want to keep a column and uh, fix it uh, to D, then you have to put a dollar sign in front of uh, the D because columns are represented with alphabets and the rows are represented with uh, uh, numbers. So, if you put an alpha the, the dollar sign before your alphabets, it means that the data should be fixed to this column. And um, if you put the dollar sign in front of a number, which means the data should be fixed to this row. And but if you do the same at the same time, if you put dollar sign in front of your column and in front of your row, which means you are talking about specific cell. So it is D1. Okay. So this one for C is a constant value or constant cell uh, to to manipulate uh, or to calculate all the data um, up, up to the observation point. And the same is true for these ones. Okay, if you say F four, you can simply fix them and say is equal to. And uh, if you double click here, you have the calculated value. Now we have to find uh, the difference between the estimated and the observed one. Okay, the the Q error. Uh, this is an error. Okay, uh, which is equal to Q actual minus the Q. Um, Estimated because the K actual is actually major discharge and the difference should be the error. So this is equal to the actual man minus the observed one. And then uh, you calculate that for the whole observation points. And then uh, some errors are positive, some are negative usually, and uh, so uh, we have to take the square of error. Okay. Square of error. Means it is equal to this one square or raised to two. So this is, uh, this is your uh, uh, error, and then you have to take the sum of uh, square of errors. And you go this, and uh, by selecting the row, the column, and the whole, and then you say sum, then uh, this is this is square of errors. This is a uh, sum, uh, this is a uh, sum of uh, error square. is the move error square and uh, what we are going to do is we have to use some function uh, optimization function uh, that can uh, minimize the error and um, and then uh, uh, give us the value that that minimizes the error and uh, uh, we use uh, for, to find that function the solver and uh, you can go to data and here is my solver if you don't find your solver here yeah, you have to go to file and options and then look uh, into add-ins and then uh, you have to you have to get uh, if it is added if you didn't add it yet you, you need you have to get the solver add-ins in the inactive add-ins list in this one so once you find them you have to select that and uh, say go and it will install it in time for example mine is actively uh, so it's already working so it is an active application 
Okay, so um, uh, once you find uh, the, that and uh, go to solver, okay, and uh, the set your objective. So our objective is to minimize uh, the total error. Okay, so this is the square of errors, and our objective is to minimize that square of error. So I select this uh, sale as my target sale, and. Um, uh, the, the the objective is to minimize this value and uh, the parameters to be manipulated are uh, C, A and N because we assume this randomly so uh, by manipulating this one at the point where we obtain the square of error very minimum uh, so that is our C and A and value uh, 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 will be uh, estimated that way so you say okay let's solve it and this is uh, the first iteration so with the first iteration this is 300 this is 302 though this close and this is also um, good and this is also good so we can try another 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 step so for that um, you use the same data go to silver so you'll use the same input data and then say solve and um, you can check uh, your values and, and the others are getting closer and the others are getting farther try that up until you see uh, no value being changed okay for example this 303 this is 275 232 let's see if they can change with that this iteration so uh, now look at them okay they are not changing which means uh, this is the, the optimal values of c a and n and um, if you want to check how good uh, the estimation are or how good the estimated graph is uh, you can just go to um, insert and uh, plot a curve and uh, say add um, add your data okay uh, this is uh, this is observer one and the x value is uh, the the observation number and uh, you have the y the first time your y is the uh, actual one okay and uh, second part is uh, uh, you, you have to add the second data okay. I'll say add and um, the x x value is still the observation number okay and uh, uh, sorry this is uh, this is estimated one and the x value is still uh, the observation number and uh, the y value will be uh, estimated discharge and then you can see uh, how close these two graphs are okay if you see this um, it is uh, nearly it is nearly um, a perfect fit so uh, this this values are good enough to represent uh, our water shear so we have to write our discharge equation as uh, this equal to c which is 12.54 or 55 into h uh, plus a is 1.608 uh, raised to uh, 2.77 so this is is our rating curve equations which means, after all, uh, if you have uh, if you have an, an observed uh, head data at your watershed, and you only need to come up with H, and you can substitute H, and you can estimate your discharge. And this is how we develop rating curves by using um, the least square approach or trial and error approach.